Guzman. I'm Elvira Guzman. I'm an author, speaker, publicist, and talk show host. I've owned a publicity company for 10 years after starting my career working for Steve Harvey as a radio and television producer. I've worked on TV and films with celebrities like Halle Berry, Forrest Whitaker, Terrence J, Amber Rose, Mike Epps. I've done concerts for Ice Cube, The Game, Music Soul Child. I've worked on books for Shirley Strawberry, Troy Byer, and I've done philanthropy projects with Hollywood's heroes like Danny Trejo. Throughout my career, all of the projects I've done have had one common thread. They all help people find their way. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. We are doing a live Facebook chat with Elvira Guzman. How do you describe yourself? Author for one. Motivational speaker, entrepreneur. I know you have more titles than yeah, that. TV host. <laughs> yeah, because she has her own show. And I remember you came... Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Elvira, and I'm very excited to be here with you today. Today's topic is, when you help others, God helps you. Many of you might be thinking you have nothing to give, but the reality is we all have something to give. Oh, that's so, great. Yeah, I that's know that we thing. all experience setbacks. What do you do to stay motivated, especially in Hollywood? There's so much negativity that goes around. What do you do to stay happy and positive like you are? You said to me, you be loyal, you be, you have communication. Loyalty, communication, and honesty takes you a long way. Yeah. And those were the words that I still live by. That's great advice. Now, I know a lot of our viewers, they know what their dream is, but they just don't have the courage to pursue it. What advice can you give them to say, okay, today I'm going to start? Honestly, faith is the only thing that keeps me going and doing what I'm doing. Like, today is a, is a rough day for me. I'm, just, I'm As we speak, I'm tired. Like, this city will remind you every single day that you're not enough in any kind of way. Being a black man, being a comedian, being an artist, being in a relationship, being like everything about this world will remind you that you're not enough. So you got to remind yourself through something, most of the time intangible, that you're worth the fight, and on the end, it'll be worth it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Again, like, today is really a rough day for me, but I'm fighting through it. But I know the only thing that makes sense in my life is the thing I can't see, which is my relationship with God. And without God, I honestly believe I wouldn't be who I am. Be you can have the power to change from being a victim to victorious. And by that, it's a long process. And just honor your process, but you're going to get there. There's hope because I've been through it all. And because I was a victim of sexual abuse, I really hated myself. I tried to commit suicide. I got addicted to drugs and alcohol. I was very promiscuous. Anything that would just hurt me because I think I thought I deserved it but here I am in a whole different place of my life and I really I know that you can be out of it too you are a treasure you are a deep beautiful buried treasure but someone is gonna take you out and hopefully I can be a helping hand Wow, that's so powerful um, can you share with us what were some of the steps that you took from going from broken to to a victorious person that is now able to help others what were some of those steps my, I, th I believe the first step was speaking up. Now, one of the things that I've learned is the abuser has many weapons, but his most powerful weapon is your silence. So we've gotten so many questions mm -hmm. on social media. Yes. Do you mind if I read some to uh, you and you answer them? Okay, great. So here we go. Joy in San Francisco writes, mm -hmm. I got let go from my job and I'm having a hard time financially and I can't even think about giving back, but I know I should. How can I start? Giving back is not just giving financially, it's also giving your time, giving your talent, whatever other treasures. God's giving you some gifts besides a financial blessing. He's giving you some other things. So until financially you catch up, go and spend time with um, with orphans. Uh, go spend time with someone, uh, the elderly. Go and give your time to the church. Go and start from what you, what you have control over. If you don't have control of your finances right now, Start with where you are. I want to thank our sponsors. Um, I would like to thank Minister Deborah Smith Simpkins. Find information on her best selling books. They're really good at DeborahSimpkins.com. I'd like to thank Wellness Suites. If you guys are having um, a lot of stress or if your allergies are acting up, make sure to go and make an appointment with Dr. Ray and go to wellnesssuites.com. And I'd like to thank my company, LVGPR. And if you guys need any publicity or branding or consulting, make sure to contact us our website's lvgpr.com and if you want to be a sponsor email us at the elvira guzman show at gmail so